one more video to end the year with. I don't know if it'll come out before the end of the year, but this is the last video I'm filming this year. So uh, we'll make it a double feature. I have a Harry Potter advent calendar and December geek gear wizardry box. So uh, we'll put that down to the side and we'll go with December 1st. So uh, November was their Christmas box. So there might be a couple winter items in here, but I'm not expecting anything too Christmassy. But <laughs> looks like the year of the black t-shirt is a full year because uh, yet another t-shirt of the black variety and uh, we'll see if January brings any other colors. But so this is the new one. What can we tell? Oh. Dumbledore's office. So that, I mean, I I make fun of it being always a black t-shirt, but I do like black t-shirts. So this, I really like this. Um, you know, the, the orange color on the black background really pops really well. It's very cool. I'll be wearing that for sure. Nice and soft, so no problems with the t-shirts. So that's what's in the box. Looks like we have a wand and uh, maybe some uh, some candy, but we'll see what we come up with. So <laughs> I'm going to guess another chess piece, probably a rook, better known as the castle. Because um, it kind of looks like that, but I could be wrong. But I mean, we have the crowns and the alternating spaces. Makes me think of a chessboard. And I've gotten so many before, it's just kind of an easy item for them to make. and. And that's what it is. And actually, no. I think it might be the queen. It's definitely the same uh, piece in the movie that's always attacking and blowing up all the figures and the one that gets Ron at the end. So I think this might be the queen. And I'm not sure. I don't think we have the queen yet. I'll have to double check wherever all those pieces are. I know they're somewhere in here, but I don't know. So not bad. Just another one to add to the collection. Uh, eventually I'll get a whole set, then maybe I can play some chess. So we have a box with the Honey Dukes theming and some lemon. So I'm going to guess this is some candy. Um, oh, it says not for children under three due to small parts, which can be swallowed. So maybe it's not candy if you're not supposed to swallow it. Maybe just kids aren't under three aren't supposed to swallow it. Oh, no. It is. Uh, we got one of these a month or two back. These little A-frame boards for outside of Honey Dukes. This one says, uh, Sherbert Lemons Bewitching Burst of Citrus. So, eh. I think the other one was a closet item. This one will probably be a closet item, too. It's not that it's bad. It's just like, what am I going to do with it? I have an abundance of things already so okay so we have a small little box wrapped up in some plastic that gives me hope that this could be a very good item if they wanted to extra protect it um, it looks like it's Slughorn's hourglass on the outside which that is a very cool item so we'll see and yes that is indeed Slughorn's hourglass so we'll see what they came up with on the inside. Oh, wow. It is a mini replica of Slughorn's Hourglass, complete with green sand inside. Fantastic. This, this is amazing. Um, I've always wanted the one of the Noble Collection, the life-size Noble Collection ones, but I just can't justify spending that much. I know you're probably asking yourself, I could justify spending just about any amount of money if you looked at the, around at this room, but that is not the case. I am very uh, conscientious about how much I spend, but this is awesome. This, I will find a good spot for this. So that is amazing. I'm actually gonna put it back in its box so I don't accidentally knock it over or anything. So totally awesome. Um, and I guess we'll go with the wand. It says unique wands. So we're gonna assume that it's uh, one of their ones. Okay, so uh, I don't know where to start. So it looks like we have, it kind of looks like an icicle. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but it kind of looks like an icicle. Then we have dark brown wood with 
what almost looks like a silver ribbon around it. And then up here at the end, there's some kind of, it almost looks like a flower, but it kind of looks like a jewel here with the, with the silver accents on it. So as far as uh, non-movie wands, non-book wands, like this is very cool, very colorful. Like you don't see many wands with this much going on. So I, uh, I like it. Um, it'll go right up there with the wand collection and see, let's see if we have a card for it. Yeah, here we go. The card for it is the regalia wand. Um, the core is ruby dust and the wood is ebony and okay. Not bad. Not bad. This pretty strong box. Um, looks like we have, oh, here we us <laughs> Our last, hopefully, our last charm for the charm bracelet. And maybe in the new year we can start with something else. But it is a flying key. Let's see if that will work. I don't know. But you can see it has, uh, that might look a little better. You have your your loop and your, your key part there. And then the wings on it. So, yeah. Charm for the charm bracelet. That is fine, I guess. Just glad it's over. So um, we have a, a pin, pretty chunky, substantial pin. So I'll open it up and see if I can get a better look at what it's supposed to be. I think it might be for the dueling club. You can see there's a hand holding a wand and some skull, there's a skull up there, and there's some, uh, I want to assume they're ravens, but I'm not sure, because why would it be ravens? I don't know. We're going to have to use the cheat sheet. Um, got the scratch card. Let's see what we got there. Did not win. Did not surprise me. Okay, Let's see if I can get the, the print is always, I like that it's full size to the box, but it's always so tough to get it out. Um, and there we go, a picture of Luna from the movie. Um, says Luna love good up the side, so very cool. I like this print. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's quite wall worthy if, I mean, I saw there was one, the, the Quidditch poster up there. That was one I could have replaced. So I may do that. This may end up back there. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But otherwise, very cool. I like things like this. So that's all right. And I think that's it. No cheat sheet. So either they, it wasn't ready in time or they forgot or doesn't matter. It's not here. So overall, I'm going to say that's a, a strong, strong box. The t-shirt, although, bl although black again, uh, was great. The chess piece, just another one to add to the set, so I can take that. The wand is very unique, so not bad. The, the sherbet lemon board, meh. Um, the, the hourglass, though. The hourglass is a grand slam home run, so that will be, that'll be tough to beat if there's an item that can beat that next month, but uh, but we'll see. So overall, not a bad box. I like it. Just when uh, I have a bad box, like I kind of did last month, and I'm thinking like, maybe it's time, and then they hit me with this box, and it's like, I, I'm, I'm gonna stay subscribed. It's just the way it is, so. All right, on to the next. So we got the, uh, the Harry Potter, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good, 15 days of socks, men's, shoe size six to 12. It was tough to find one in men's. So, uh, but I found it, so we'll see what we go. We'll try to run through this fast. So just because you're allowed to use magic now does not mean you have to whip out your wands for everything. Um, so lots of different colors, no, uh, this was obviously meant as a Christmas gift, but I gifted it to myself. Uh, so here we go, we'll go with number one. Try and go through this fast. Yeah, right, this does not want to open. Now it's a, comes a video of me struggling. There we go. There's number one. 
Okay, and number one looks like Slytherin. Oh, Slytherin Chaser. So it has a golden snitch, Slytherin color, Slytherin Chaser. Not bad. Number two. It has Gryffindor on the door to the, to the window. So let's see what we get. And that's what it is. Some Gryffindor, Crew Socks, The Lion. Not bad. Um, number three has a Hufflepuff on the door and that's pretty much exactly what it is the Hufflepuff badger in the house colors so here we got number four has a golden snitch on the door and we have Hufflepuff captain Quidditch socks so not bad the wings go all the way around to the backside so not bad at all Let's see what we get in here number five has it looks like Buckbeak but we have the Ravenclaw Seeker socks. So those are pretty cool, nice and colorful. Um, with the golden stitch on again, so not bad. Here we have number six. Oh, some Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw Crew socks. Easy for me to say, but uh, very cool. I like them a lot. Number seven has number seven. Since Harry Potter's number seven, for the Gryffindor team, we got Gryffindor Keeper Socks. So there we go. Seems like that's a very Quidditch-themed box. So number eight, Slytherin, just some snakes. So again, not bad, I like it. Let me just uh, tear, tear into this a little bit more. Number nine has Gryffindor on the door, and that's what we have. Uh, silver and red, uh, should be gold, but whatever. Um, Number 10 is over here, Slytherin on the door, and that's what it is, the Slytherin Crew House Socks. So I'm going to guess that there's going to be Hufflepuff Crew House Socks in there. Number 11, um, Gryffindor Captain. So Quidditch themed Golden Snitch from Gryffindor. So number 12, Slytherin Captain Socks. Number 13, Hufflepuff on the door, and there they are, the Hufflepuff crew socks. Pretty cool, not a bad, look, kind of look like Steelers, but there we go. So number 14 has the Monster Book of Monsters on it, but it is, alas, it is not the Monster Book of Mon Monsters, it is the Hufflepuff beater, and I don't know, can you see? Yeah, there's a little silver golden snitch in there, so there we go. And finally, number 15, we have Ravenclaw Captain crew socks. So... Not bad, and that's the end of the box. Um, yeah, I guess 15 pairs of socks for 15 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I didn't realize it was gonna be all Quidditch themed, but uh, some of them I'll wear, some of them I won't. But uh, overall, two good boxes. Great way to end the year of making videos, and uh, we'll see what happens in the new year. So. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. See you next time.